What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? KJ back with another video, another reaction. Today, guys, we have a very special video um, that I've been just dying to watch since seeing some of the uh, art or some of the concepts of this new season that is coming to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, so this is Season 6 gameplay trailer, Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Um, so hope so we'll get to see things coming to Warzone um, and some things coming to Zombie, um, the Zombie mode. But then there's multiplayer, which I don't really play a lot. So that's not really why we're here. We're here mostly just for the Warzone stuff and the Zombie stuff, because that's what we play when we play games on this channel. Um, right now, this is only number 22 trending for game which honestly i would have thought it at least be in the top 10 i know some people's videos just do better than these um and just spread faster than these but but like for a new season in call of duty i felt like this should have been way better so today guys we're gonna dive into this we're hopefully gonna get to see some really cool stuff for zombies because that's really what i want to see and I heard something about the Haunted Gun Verdance is coming back, but it's going to be a little different. So hopefully we can see what that's all about. I've seen a couple of snippets, but I've never seen the actual full trailer. So let's get right on into it. I am... You will not get out of here alive. Got reports of multiple explosions in Verdansk. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Shake it off. We're going to finish what you started. Again. Sheesh! Oh! It's go time! Amazing. Oh, that's nice. That looks like revelations almost. You finish this? Plenty more where that came from. You are mine now. Dial it up. Um, another gunfire map. Strike team. Zach off is mission priority one. Get to him before Omega. No further. Teleportation successful. Somebody put this wonder weapon to work. Adler, we have unfinished business. So other than the obvious, you know, it said Verdansk blowing up and looks like the map's very different. My biggest thing was actually four zombies. Let's see where it starts. Okay, brand new zombies. Uh, hopefully, we're going to go frame by frame. Got it's like Tombstone. I think here, no. A little further. Oh, that's a perfect shot. Death perception. That's sick. See, when I think of something like Tombstone, I almost think of something like that. But death perception, that's such a cool thing. And I wasn't sure about death perception. I wasn't going to think it was going to be that good. But death perception is probably, like, one of my favorite perks besides, um, like, stamina um, or quicker by now. So I have um, these. I don't know how well y'all can see that. I have Elemental Pop. I have Death. Uh, no, not Death. Deadshot. Jug. Speed Cola. Quick Revive. And Stamina. Um, which I need to get the rest of them to make this kind of. I think it's like, where we at? Like nine. 10 perks now. Um, so, I mean, I need to hit up Chris, the guy who made these stuff. It's the guy who made like the lightning staff for um, 
The Lightning Staff and the Baby Gun for Zhao. And he was also the guy at ZWC who made the uh, jug fridge that was like a foot and a half bigger than me. <laughs> and I'm 63. Okay, so it looks like it, it, can, it kind of gives that vibe real fast of um, where the teleporter is on Tribe Z, where you first leave. Um, kind of how you go up the stairs, you go straight in the porter, there's nothing on your right side, but then there's the paw off to the left. Um, looks like we actually go into maybe that full base. Crack and lied? I don't know. Is that what that says? This Margua dude that is in the shape of like a plague hound almost. Dude, when I saw that Margos were pretty much coming back, I don't know if it's going to have the same function as a Margo where you get 500 for each head, but if it is the Hower, and I think the Street Sweeper, maybe the Gallo, but I think the Hower and the Street Sweeper are going to shred this thing. That that Street Sweeper should just gone, destroyed. And I, I really hope to kind of have that effect of like the 500 points per each kill, because when you add a double points on that, on like Shadows of Evil or Rev, that helps so much when doing the rituals. Um, if you wanted to get Pack Punch opened um, within the first kind of three rounds or so. Okay, it looks like there, it was inside. It was an inside version of like a support. But it looks like it's also be held by Crane. Oh, maybe that's a trap. Kind of like the Warden's Tower. You call it in and it just starts shooting as it's gliding across the room. Okay, that's cool. Wait. Rotation successful. So there's a town inside this bunker. So the whole map. Dang, that means this is going to be a big skybox. Anything here? Zip line. Looks like there's a character here. Probably go down here is where perks and stuff. Can't see what that is necessarily. PhD, let's go, boys. Which looks like it might be able to do really well if there's these high places that we're talking about. And a lot of places in outbreak. PhD. Somebody put this wonder weapon to work. Dude, this looks sick. So it looks like it's a gun and kind of like a Hell's Redeemer, but I mean, obviously more like Ethereum crystal looking um, rather than just like a stone. And then the arcade, and I hope it doesn't necessarily have the same effect as like the um, Soul Arcade or whatever it was called in Infinity War. Um, it, no, in, not Infinity War, uh, Infinite Warfare. So many things. Infinity Ward, Infinite Warfare. Infinity War, you know, I mean, there's just so many things that sound the same. It's, but, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to play games to go back in. And if I just want to use my Tombstone, my self res or Click Revive, I want to use one of those three ways. I don't want to have to play basketball where I'm going to miss every shot because I'm trash. I'm not LeBron James. I wonder if there's going to be Elemental Marvels. I don't want to say anything, just in case not, but... Unfinished business. And then right here, this is the um, Galil or the Grog, where they they changed the name into NBO4. That looks like such an old version of um, like an old version of a like a horror movie a title card. Like it looks so like. Just, I mean, it's obviously CGI, but it looks so digital that it gives it that really old vibe. Um, I can't wait. Um, I actually have my PS4 connected right now. I'm going to go um, while we're on. 
look if there's anything I can do while waiting. Can I see? Um, check for update. Let's see if we can get, okay. So right now we have the latest thing installed. Um, however, I'm going to keep an eye out. I want to see more of this if more stuff comes out and I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys hopefully enjoy whatever Treyarch brings because I am definitely ready for another map. Mauer's fun. Firebase is okay. Beam machines, whatever. But I want a map that outshines Mauer. I think Mauer's the best map to be applied since Classified. Um, and I'm a big fan of Classified. And I don't think we've even had a map that has relatively even touched Classified since Mauer. And even Mauer's not amazing uh, or amazing enough for me. I know it's amazing I, however, but I really hope for safety is amazing, and I hope the Haunting of Redans, which starts October 19th, um, goes insanely well. Um, so yeah, guys, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below what you want me to see, or what you want me to react to next. <laughs> um, and if you guys are feeling super gracious and generous, make sure to hit that sub button. It means a lot, and you have my love and affection forever um but yeah guys i hope you have a great day as always i will see you guys later peace and chicken grease guys see ya